Welcome everybody to the 10 a.m. Collider Coffee Break, where we just take a few minutes on a Friday morning to let you know what we've been up to at Collider to serve Rochester entrepreneurs. So Jamie will start us off today, so I'll send it over to him. Awesome. Thanks. So first of all, right off the bat, we want to welcome a new sponsor to Collider, which is Ready. Um, they've stepped up to help fund uh, our peer, uh, peer groups, which I'll talk about in just a minute. But we really want to say thank you to uh, John Wade and, and Sean Williams for uh, really recognizing uh, what Collider does in the community and uh, choosing to be a partner with us. So thank you so much to Ready. Now getting into sort of what Ready funded. So I think we've alluded to it maybe on a few of our coffee breaks, but we have received funding from the Southern Minnesota Initiative Foundation, Fredrickson and Byron, as well as Destination Medical Center, and now Ready to help fund peer groups. And that's something that um, I'm particularly excited about because I'm a big believer in entrepreneurs helping other entrepreneurs. And I think this gives entrepreneurs in various segments in our community a chance to get to know each other better, better and to really leverage uh, strengths and uh, you know experience that many of these entrepreneurs have that they can help out uh, other fellow entrepreneurs. So. Uh, we'll be announcing it this week in our newsletter and kind of making a big deal about it. And I think we're really, really excited. And it's something that in our region, I think there's a huge amount of people that believe in peer groups and Smith has really led the way with peer groups and shown that they're massively effective here in the region. So uh, we're proud to be carrying on with that initiative here in the Rochester area. And uh, again, to remind you, there's three groups that are funded uh, currently. Uh, the first is uh, medical or biotech companies. The second is female entrepreneurs. And the third is food entrepreneurs. So we are really excited about 10 uh, different companies will be represented in each peer group. And it will run for about a year. So hopefully we will start to see some really positive impacts with companies here in our region. And hopefully we can uh, perhaps make some more peer groups here in, in the next few months or the next year that will really reinforce this idea of entrepreneurs helping entrepreneurs. So thank you to all of our supporters and we look forward to launching this major initiative here in February. And with that, I'll send it back to Amanda. The first thing I wanted to talk about was our ongoing basics of entrepreneurship class, something you've heard us talk about before, but this is an eight week entrepreneurial education program that we've been running virtually. This week, we were very grateful to have local entrepreneur Jessica Taylor join us as our special guest entrepreneur. She is the owner of Pottery by Jessica and Jessica's Paint Your Own Pottery to Go, really sharing her lessons learned and how she thought about target market. So it's really great for the entrepreneurs going through our class to see how somebody in the community has applied what they're learning and how that's helped their own business. So real life examples. So we're continuing on with the class next week. And it again, has really been fun to see the growth and development of these ideas over the past few weeks with our participants. This week on Rochester Rising, we focused our storytelling content on Trisha Pipo, who is the owner of Hello Media in both our podcast, so podcast episode 210 and our article this week. This is a really wonderful story and she was really open and honest about her progression with her business. She bought into a business when she was 19, so she's always been a business owner and how she's growing and expanding and rebranded her social media and brand agency, Hello Media, over the past year during the summer. And really uh, just a conversation about trusting your gut and sometimes just going for it. So it's a wonderful conversation with Trisha. Trisha. You can listen in on the podcast, which is pretty much everywhere you listen in to podcasts. So check it out, learn more about the culture of entrepreneurship and people doing great things in the community. So that's it for me. I will send it back to Jamie. We talk a lot about, you know, supporting organizations like Collider. And thankfully, again, as we said at the top of this uh, video, that Ready has stepped up to uh, sponsor Collider. That's going to be a recurring theme over uh, February as we're going to kind of go into our second round of fundraising. And really, my target with this fundraising is on organizations and companies this round. 
uh, versus just the amazing outpouring of support we saw in November and December from individuals. So thank you all to our great individuals who really believe in the mission of Collider and moving it forward. But we think now's the time to get more involved and get the word out about what we do to the community at large, and especially looking for uh, local companies to uh, to come alongside us and partner with us. So you'll probably see a lot more uh, push towards that. That's something for me that I'm going to be very, very focused on in February. And uh, hopefully, you know, knocking on wood here, uh, we can have a successful raise of some great funds. And more importantly, do continue the great work that we do for entrepreneurs here in the ecosystem. So look forward. I look forward to doing that. And with that, I'll send it back to Amanda. Thanks everyone for taking a few moments of your Friday morning to connect with us and learn what we've been doing to support entrepreneurs in the Rochester community. A really great way you can help us is to like this video. It takes less than five seconds of your time, costs you no money. That's a big help to us and it helps other people learn more about what we're doing. So thanks again for tuning in and have a good weekend.